Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Sunday. Uh, it's funny, I think technology is just about had it with me. I don't know if you're having the same situation, but my phone just shut off and it took me a few minutes to get it to come back on. Today is my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Thanks, Jess. <laughs> I'm glad you're able to be here basking in the glow. We had an event last night and um, it was truly incredible. And again, with the technology, the way that we're able to connect and uh, be together in times when we're not allowed to be together is it's just truly amazing. And it was such a wonderful experience. And it was a um, kind of a little running joke at the end. Uh, my friend who was DJing kept saying that I was 46 and he was like, happy birthday, Connie's 46, and I'm not 46, and, uh, and I kept, and so it was kind of like the mystery of like, well, how old is she, and then um, somebody had mentioned, and I looked it up, I'm 42, and uh, 42 is the answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything else, and uh, I think that's awesome, because it was the, 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 the question of the night was, how old is she, and 42 is the answer to the ultimate question of life, which is incredible. Um, also had quite a bit of um, comments of people telling me that, you know, I, I'm getting younger and I'm looking younger. And and uh, I, I really um, equate a lot of that to do with my meditation practice. And I feel like I've lived two lives, um, one pre-meditation and one post-meditation. And um, I, I really, when you learn to separate yourself from the stories that you've been telling yourself your whole life and you begin to see things as they actually are, you begin to see what actually is, all of that like crud comes down and you get to be free of all of that. And for me, I feel like that's where my youth comes from. Um, that's, you know, if you see me when I was 32 and you see me at 42, there's quite drastic changes. And, um, I, I believe a lot of that has to do with mindfulness and meditation. So get on it. <laughs> um, I feel so full and whole today, uh, after the event last night. Um, and, uh, again, like that's something that came for, to me through, Meditation. I don't talk about this often on here, but um, I, uh, me I, I meditation is what helped me to get sober in life. And for my whole life, looking for outside substance, outside entity, outside anything to fix what was going on on the inside created havoc and created so much damage. And once I learned to sit still and be with and breathe and connect to myself, and I got really full and whole. And when that happens, like nothing else needs to come in to fix the inside. You know, it's an inside job. It's all an inside job. And that's where we start. So with that, that's where we're going to go ahead and get started. A little bit of a reflection meditation today. I just got out of my favorite yoga class. And um, she just always fills me. It's Yoga Nest in, in Venice fills me with such a peace and a lightness and a joy too and a great time of reflection. So that's what I'm gonna get us into today. So Jess, hopefully you have a little spot where you can uh, sit in, in stillness for a moment and join me in this meditation. <laughs> Looks like it's just me and you right now, kid. Thank you for being here. Say yes, Jess. <laughs> All right, so let's just take a deep breath in through the nose. Out slow through the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose. And out slow through the mouth. Allow for your body to settle. Settle into your perfection. Everything the body does in perfect harmony at the perfect time in the perfect moment, your perfect self. Settle into just being. The 
there's that famous quote, you are perfect and yet there is still room for improvement. Breathing into your feeling body. Allow for your whole body to fill with air. And exhaling out, releasing. Next breath in, we are going to draw up healing energy from the earth, from Pachamama. Breathing in, filling your body with all the, her healing energy. And letting go, letting go of anything that no longer serves you, anything you're holding on to. <sighs> she can take it, let it go. Does not belong here. You do not need to hold that here. Breathing in all the healing energy from the earth. And relaxing. Let's take the next few moments here to reflect on all of the good things that have come into your life. Let's just maybe do, even in the last 49 days we've been in quarantine, take a moment and really reflect on all of the good things that have happened to you in that time. Maybe some of the people you've connected with, you haven't connected with in many, many years. Maybe it's more time with family or maybe it's more time with just yourself. Feeling that, feeling that in your feeling body. Breathing into that, deep breath in. And relax. In the next moment of reflection, spending a few moments thinking about some of the challenging moments you've had over these last 49 days. Some might say bad moments, we're just gonna call them challenging moments. Where have you been blocked? Where have your challenges been? And maybe taking a second just to look at what you've been taught, what that has shown you, and how we can grow from that. And with holding with those thoughts, the next few breaths are going to be to disconnect Disconnect from the stories. Disconnect from what we think we know and opening ourselves up to what we're being shown. We don't know what we don't know and that is okay. Breathing in and exhaling. The next couple of breaths are for disconnecting to these stories. Out of the stories, into the feeling body, just breathing.
releasing, releasing, releasing. Every inhale, we're filling up. Every exhale, we are releasing, letting go what no longer serves us. We have the power to let that go. Now that we've created some space in our hearts and our bodies, we're gonna take the last few minutes to fill those spaces. Fill those spaces with abundance. Fill those spaces with love, with peace, with joy. Feeling in your feeling body. When you're breathing in, breathe in that abundance. And maybe a little smile as you exhale. Breathing in that deep, deep sense of love, breathing it in. And whatever it is you're calling into your life, the next few moments, breathing it in, filling your body with it and releasing. Putting a hand over your heart when you're ready. Connecting to your heartbeat. Deep sense of gratitude for this perfect body. All of the things that it does without us having to think about it. Breathing into that. And exhaling. And breathing into gratitude to yourself for showing up for yourself today. How we love ourselves is how we show others how to love us. It starts here. Last deep breath here, filling your whole entire body with breath. Put a little smile on your face as you release your hand and exhale out. Feeling in your feeling body. Give yourself a little wiggle. Slowly open your eyes when you're ready. Yay, I feel great <laughs> after that one. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Today is my birthday. Thanks for meditating with me on my birthday. We got rid of things that no longer served us, created space so we can call in all that we want. It's all ours for the taking. It's an inside job. We can create whatever we want inside and it flourishes to the outside world. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for doing my birthday meditation with me. Day 49, social distance. <laughs> Hang in there, kids. See you next time. Thank you. Namaste. It is a good one. It's a good one. <laughs>